Okay, so for this one here, you need to know off by heart that the area of a circle is pi r squared. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. <coughs> and you need to know that if you've got a cylinder, so that's what this is called, that you get the area of the circle times by the length of it will give you the volume. So the area of the circle is pi times the radius squared, and then we need to times by the length. So how do we do that on our calculator? If your calculator doesn't have pi, use 3.14. And so we go shift pi times 5 squared times 10. And that is 785.4. I've just rounded it. So 785. Point four. Now, very importantly, to get your four marks, it's centimetres, centimetres, so it's centimetres cubed. Because we did pi r squared times that. Volume is in centimetres cubed. Now, when you're practising this on your own, you need to check your answers correct. How would you do that? You would go to Google, and you would go... Volume Cylinder Calculator, and Google will provide. So it was a 5, and it was a 10, and so we've got 785.4. Yoo-hoo! And you can be happy that you didn't muck up. Sweet. Now I've lost it. No, there we are. So we've got that correct. Surface area. Imagine your cylinder... I think the best idea for me is to imagine a, like a spaghetti label that actually the net for a cylinder is going to look like that. You've got a circle at the top, a circle at the bottom, and you've actually got a rectangle in the middle if you actually pulled a cylinder apart. So to get the surface area, we need the surface area of this bit and the surface area of that bit, so we know that the area is going to be pi times r squared, but we need two of them, plus we need this bit here. And this is where we need this length. And that length is actually going to be the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r, times that's actually 10. So we get our trusty calculator out, and we go. Clear. 2 times shift pi times 5 squared, so that's my two circles either end, plus 2 times shift pi times 5, 2 pi r was my diameter, times, oh, sorry, not my diameter, my circumference, the edge of the circle, times 10, so that was my rectangle. I've got 471.2. So, uh, 471.2, that's going to be centimetres squared. How do I check it? I go back to Google. I change it to surface area. I have my radius of 5. I have my height of 10. 471.2. Sweet. Okay, so we're almost there. Now, calculate the edge length of this 3D shape. Here's the edge, here's an edge, but there's actually no edges here, is it? It just goes around in a circle. So I've got my edge was 2 pi r, which was, my radius was 5, but I need that twice. So that's going to equal 2 times pi times my radius times 2 and I get 
and that's going to be centimetres because it's a length is in centimetres, area is in centimetres squared, and volume is in centimetres cubed. So if you want full marks, you need to get that right. Now, I'll just check that I'm right. So the actual answer scheme, that all looks as if I haven't mucked up. And so 62.8 centimetres, 62.8 centimetres. Sweet. Done.